You're on. Hit it. Going. Oh, we're going. All right. I, I, so. I was only going to ask a question. Oh, well, the, 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 the questions are going to be the same for everybody. Where did, did you decide to make your building so that it was completely visible from down the hill or completely hidden? Um, visible, but the entrance goes, uh, I choose the second entrance here mm -hmm. because I want them to, like people, when they reach the parking lot, they were able to so see. The parking the lot's down here. in the other room over, in the, see the next room over? The parking lot's over in the next room. It's far away. So let me, just um, to give you a sense of scale, all right. I'm going to turn, hold on, I'm going to turn this this way. I'm going to show you how far away the parking lot is. Parking lot is about right here where this trash can is. And then, not parking lot, but when people reach here, they were able to see here's the gallery they want to go. I mean, their destination. And But the entrance is need to go all the way to there and here. Now, why are you why are you making them go around a corner? <laughs> I don't. I'm just. I'm just asking. I I'm just not. Want to I'm not being judgmental at all. But I'm just asking. I don't want them to get there too easy. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they just had to hike up a mountain to get to it. Well, it's nice to walk around these area. There's trees. Okay, but I still don't know why you're hiding it around a corner. Then um, people, I want people to reach like this area here, and they will see like from the uphill, downhill, like how all these village and parking lot looks like. If I put my entrance over there, they want people won't like go walk to area here, and maybe they will continue. And they see here is like some area they can get to. So well, that that's you know the main the main focus of this is not what they might do, it's what they're going to do in coming to visit this. Okay. So, I, yeah. you know, you're, you're but kind of... But they can also go like this. Right. But, but hold on, so, so the, you're not placing... When I say the entrance, I don't mean the door. What I mean is the thing that says this is the entrance. That's the recess, the cutaway. Okay? So even though her door is to the side here, right? What we're talking about, the entry statement, is the subtraction that forms the whole corner. Okay? Does that make sense? Do you guys understand that? And we're not going to do stairs. So I know that, that, that another instructor is making students do stairs, right? We're not going to do stairs. We're going to just do a ramp. And the ramp can't be very steep. So the ramp will have to come out from this entrance thing. Okay? Does that make sense? So, so you, you can have your door here. This becomes the entry porch. And then more than likely what you're going to have is a rampway that goes out like this from the building. Okay? So that, that's something that you guys are all going to have to do is you're going to have to make a ramp, okay? And the ramp is going to be, um, it's going to be 36 feet long, okay? Can I do it like this? No, the ramp, uh, let me give you guys some parameters for the ramp. The ramp is going to be 36 feet long. And it's going to be six feet, between four and six feet wide. Okay? So um, make sure you make a note that we need to add that to the, to the, the problem statement. All right? So how big is this? 30. This is 30, right? So, it, so the ramp is a little bigger than this, right? Okay, and, how, and, and six feet is three quarters of an inch, so it's about like that. So between four and six feet, okay? All right, so um, I, I think that you can put your cutout in this corner as Kellyanne did it also. Um, it's up to you. If you want to put it in this corner, that's fine. If you want to put it in this corner, it's also fine. They still will not be able to see the door. I so. didn't know like, you, we're going to put a ramp in front. The, the ramp is, is, is something that, that I haven't had a chance to talk to you guys about because I'm seeing stairs. And then I also saw someone sketch stairs up here. 
and I'm trying to avoid stairs. It's up to you. You can you can do it just like this if you want. Right? Then they come up the ramp. When they get up here, they see the door. And if they look that way, they look out the valley. It's your call. Okay? okay? And same for you. If you want to leave it on that corner, you can. But what I'm going to ask you guys to do is digitally, I want you to picture what that's going to look like so that you understand what it's going to be like to walk up to your building. Okay? All right. Very good. Now, you have your floor plan drawn here, which is very helpful because it starts to tell me what the space inside might be like. So you chose to put your sunset porch, right, uh, on the opposite corner of yeah, this. Corner. Okay, that's fine, because the, the sunset porch can be on the opposite corner, it could be on the same corner, or it could be in the middle. The only one that's required to be one side or the other is the entrance. The other one you have more latitude on. It could be one side, the other side, or in the middle. Okay? Okay, and um, you, your porches are meeting the minimum size requirements, right? Because it's 24 feet by 20 feet, so it's, it's big, right? Mm -hmm. That's your entrance porch here. Okay, good. So you met the minimum size requirements. Um, and so you've already kind of figured out where you're putting your sunset porch, so that's, that's good. I think you've, you've made decisions, and I think that the space that's going to be created inside of here um, is going to be good. Did you did you use any of the, the mechanisms that I asked you to look at as far as how big this is in relation to subdivision? Thirds, fourths, fifths? Um, but we can't decide. It's like, it's given by a range. No, it's not given. Uh, I mean, it's given as a range. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I'm thinking, making, I will look that up. Well, I haven't decided the windows yet. No, not, I'm not talking about the windows. I'm talking about the size of the porch. Did you, did you pick a dimension that lines up with something like the quarter points or the third points or the half points? Remember we had that discussion last week about... It's quarter. Quarter points would be seven and a half feet. What's half a 30? Half a 30 is 15. What's half of 15? Seven. seven and a half. So the quarter point would be seven and a half feet. Okay. Hmm? Okay, don't let me go more than 10. You do the math. Five pieces is going to be six. six. Right? So six times five is 30, right? Yeah, that's five. Well, top six plus one, six. You're cool. Okay. But you're going to do that convinced of why you did it. You're not going to say, oh, good, it worked. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, you're ready right now to actually make these two cuts, these two cuts, on your large cube very carefully. Uh, okay. And I know you're, but, but I am not through designing yet. I still got more. No, we're almost done with this project. You've got to, that's it. That's true for all. You guys got to understand this. This project is done. It is. We are. Here comes the pun. Are you ready? Ahead of time. We are sunsetting this project. Oh, that was bad, huh? <laughs> We're sunsetting the project. Get it? No. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, I know. I said I was trying to preempt myself. So you're ready to go. All right. Okay. Uh